Thank you, Ainsley. Well, fracking is being called a modern-day gold rush. The technique uses high-pressure water mixtures to literally fracture rocks and collect the oil and gas inside, reducing the need for foreign oil. With so many opportunities to frack in the United States, could this technology be a new path to American wealth? Alex Epstein, founder of the Center for Industrial Progress, joins us now. Alex, nice to see you this morning. Great to be here. Now, you say fracking is the greatest technolog uh, t technological revolution since the computer. That is a bold statement as a, as a fan of uh, computers and iPads and everything else. Back that up for us. Okay, well, I decided to bring a prop with me. And so this is the object of fracking, which is just a seemingly worthless piece of rock, right? So imagine I told you we can figure out a way to to charge your iPhone with this or to run your car. Wouldn't that be the most amazing innovation? And that's exactly what fracking is. It takes worthless rock and we have more than a Texas sized uh, amount of this stuff and turns it into life-giving energy, which is the foundation of all progress in economic growth. Well, one of the big stories this week is that this, fra this fracking technology is really trickling down and helping Americans put keep more money in their own pocket. In fact, take a look at some of these numbers. The disposable household income up by about $1,200 in some of these high fracking states with lower energy bills, economic growth upwards of $283 billion, uh, federal and state tax payments up by $74 billion. The skeptical person out there saying, wait a minute, is this really going to affect my own wallet? Is fracking really going to help me save more money and live a better life? Yeah, it's understandable because, you know, there are all kinds of studies that come out every day making all sorts of wild claims. But if we understand the importance of energy in an economy, it's very clear that an energy revolution is a revolution for every individual. So energy is the industry that powers every other industry. So no matter what you're doing in life and no matter what product you're using, cheaper energy means a lower cost of life, means more prosperity for everyone. Now, what about, the, of course, the environmental concerns and some of the higher fracking states? We've heard, of, of course, from uh, environmentalists out there who say that this is absolutely dangerous to our drinking water, and this is something that we don't want in our backyards. Take a look at some of the states where there's big concerns, Montana, North Dakota, Texas, Oklahoma, California, and Louisiana. These are high fracking states, and also uh, Pennsylvania on that list as well. Uh, for an area that has uh, done quite a bit of fracking. What, is, what do you say to those who argue against it? Yeah, my view is exactly the opposite. Uh, fracking is actually incredibly good for our environment. And there's, there's two reasons. One is that this rock right here, this exists 5,000 feet away from groundwater. So the last thing that's going to contaminate your groundwater is a fracking operation. But number two, Look at the places in the world with the best environments. They're the places that use the most energy because nature doesn't give us a clean environment. We have to clean it up. That takes a lot of energy to purify the water, to grow crops, to make the world a better place. And that's why I titled my book, Fossil Fuels Improve the Planet. In fact, the Environmental Protection Agency, excuse me, the EPA, easy for me to say this morning, found that no evidence that fracking contaminates gravel in that recent report. Uh, Alex Epstein, it'll be interesting to see if we get lower energy bills across this country as a result of fracking, if it takes hold. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.